Now today will we see a very important part of calculating GCS. GCS is a very important tool in managing the trauma patients and assessing and monitoring. Whenever you call to consultant or whenever you call to neurosurgeon, the first thing he or she asks what is the GCS. Not only it helps in assessing the patient, it helps in monitoring the patient's response over a period of days. Now, many students calculate it uh, very nicely, but sometimes it happens that for motor response or for the eye response, in a same patient you have two responses on two sides of the body. On the left side the motor response could be difficult and on the right side the motor, uh, motor response will be dif different. So, so today Dr. Harsh has pointed out a very interesting case in which the motor response was different in both sides of the hands. Let's see first the GCS of this patient in terms of motor response. Again. Okay. So, got confused, you have just seen the motor response on the left side was different from the right side. So in your chart, which motor response you need to write down. Let's have a closer look again on the same uh, patient. So now you have understood in any patient you need to point out, you need to write down the best motor response or best verbal response or best eye response. In your GCS, in your notes write down that it was M2 on the uh, left hand side or M5 on the right hand side but when you calculate the total GCS it will be M5 will be counted not the M2. In GCS always the best motor response, the best eye response or the best verbal response is always used to calculate the total GCS. I hope this will be a useful tip for your managing the trauma patient in the ER and ICU. See you next time. Take care.